Hey everyone, uh, real quick video for you. I kind of put aside the journal I've been working on lately and started on this one and finished it in no time at all. I needed a book for my trip, which is coming up pretty soon. So I wanted to reuse this kit. It's been in the store for a while, but I revamped it a little bit. Now I didn't change the pictures at all, I just changed the configuration. So uh, first I'll start with the front. Um, I've added some glitter. I know that shows because I've previously videoed this and um, yeah, I didn't like it. So <laughs> Here we are again. Anyway, the cover is done with the composition notebook and I just covered it in some K and Company paper. Is that what it's called? Um, hmm, yeah, I think so. Anyway, um, here's the, this is the same paper that I put on the back. Um, one of those, you know, I like it because it's double sided, but you know, you don't always like the other, the B side or the A side of the page, and wanted to use this up. So, uh, that's just the background, and then on the inside is also the same from the same paper line, and I created a pocket which I did not glue down on this side so that it it will expand somewhat and that's mostly for brochures and stuff when I'm traveling I keep everything until I get home and then I put all of that ephemera into the book um, so like I said I did not change the photos it's themselves now all of these are taken either by myself or my husband and then I just altered them in Photoshop I wanted them to look vintage so yeah that's what I came up with. Now the paper here has been altered. So the original writing paper, the flowers were way bigger and then it was lined. And this one I wanted a grid. I like the look of it. I made the flowers a lot smaller so you get more room on the page. Having made this book before with the um, you know, previous trip, I realized no, I could have definitely used more room on, on the page. And I so what I did was if Okay, so if you're looking at this page here, pretend this one here is your grid page. Okay, that's how I did laid them all out. So no longer is it picture picture, it's picture grid. Okay, and so when they print out, that's how they print out. So you've got a choice. You can do it like I've done it, bind it with either a cinch or you know um, a zutter, whatever, or you can sew them in like normal. Now when you're folding those pages back, so if this is your grid and this is your front, you see you're going to have a grid when you flip the page over, you're going to have a grid on this side and you're going to have a grid paper on this side. So you get a nice big sheet and then, you know, you've got picture, I think that's correct, did I say that correctly? It'd be picture on this side, grid on this side, picture on this side. Unless, of course, you add more um, lined paper in between. That's up to you. So I've done it um, where I've done the picture and then I get the two together and then one on this side. Now this is covering the other picture but this I've added as where I'm going to put my photos. It's a lightweight cardstock and I've just sprinkled those through the book and I think there's about 14 of those. So if you decide to purchase version 2 of the original kit, if you like this layout better, you actually get 20 pages to that. What's my Fitbit telling me to do? Move? <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to dance while I'm talking. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so that, that's what we've done. And now this is taken. There's two islands, Maui and Oahu. This one, I'm... I'm not 100% certain where I took this. I want to say it was Maui. I, I believe this is an old um, pier that they've closed down. And this bike was just leaning against it. It was awesome. So I took that. And then this one here, I think it's Maui as well. They had the coolest uh, palm trees. This is Oahu. This is Sandy's Beach, That's where that was taken. And 
that's on the road to Hana. It's where we used to always stop to get banana bread, which we won't be doing anymore. <laughs> this is on Oahu, and I believe this is below the Makapu'u Point lookout. You'll see, uh, if, if you looked to your right, you'd see the lighthouse up there. I think that's what that was. Oh, all thumbs. Come on, Cheryl. There we go. Uh, again, that's Sandy's Beach. Just a kind of a close-up. This is Maui. This is down by Black Rock. So uh, you can see Black Rock over that way, um, which is in Kaanapali. And I've added some postcards I had a leftovers from a book I did and a trip we took a few years ago I bought all these postcards and they're really cool because they're kind of a they almost feel like plastic in a way but I plan on putting mounting photos on on these so that I think there's four in here this is Hanama Bay on Oahu this is a protected um, fish like you're they give you this big uh, you have to watch this little movie before you even can go snorkeling down there it, it to protect the reefs and stuff like that so it's kind of cool here's another one of those postcards this is on um, Maui I think it's close to close to where we stay in Kihei okay so what I did here was somebody had gifted me these they're almost like a glassine bag uh, it's quite big, so I folded it in half, but when I did that, I taped it together. I cut the end off of the bottom of the bag and created a flap here. And then I just glued these on. These are leftovers from the Graphics 45 travelogue, I believe. And that just kind of holds everything in here. And you flip it over and you've got the same thing on the other side because like I said I folded the bag in half and glued it together so there's no opening in between um, yeah just to use those up and I always keep my receipts so I wanted an envelope of some kind uh, this is Waikiki Beach and random don't know probably Maui and this is on uh, Oahu on the North Shore and um, they call it its nickname is Turtle Beach and they have you see that it says a pink rope here they have all of all of that roped off so nobody can get close this is telephoto so we didn't get close to the turtles you don't want to disturb them but they have their names on little plaques stuck in the sand so because the same ones come back all the time and lobster claw that's probably Oahu and I don't know that's probably Maui and back to the North Shore on Oahu and that's Hale Iva so their eyes are E's and their E's are A's I know it's a little but once you get it down it's not that bad Hale means home Okay, there's a pineapple field, huge pineapple field. It was so cool because this red dirt road was just kind of in the middle of it, just going off into up to the mountain. You know, it was a really neat shot. And more coconuts. Palm tree. This one was humongous. And this is up at Pali, which is on Oahu. If you ever get a chance to go to Oahu, the Pali lookout is just beautiful. Now, we had gone, um, if you go up to the lookout, you have to go up a couple stairs, and then there's this big wall, and you overlook the valley, and it's absolutely stunning. But if you, if you don't go up the stairs and you turn to the right, there's a, a little kind of a path that goes by the mountain there, uh, you can no longer go there anymore because there was a big slide apparently and they decided not to clear it they're just gonna keep it closed off so it's too bad because we got some pretty cool shots and then again I added another pocket to the back here you know for those little extras that I always do 
So, like I said, I am going to list this in the store. It will probably be in the store as you watch. Now, the difference will be, like I showed you the pages, but also I'm offering the cover that says Hawaii. It won't say 2019. It'll just say Hawaii. But I'm also going to put in a cover that doesn't say anything. There'll be nothing on it, just the flowers. That way, you know, because, I mean, you can go to the Caribbean, you can go to Mexico even, and, I mean, there's palm trees everywhere, right? So, yeah, it doesn't have to be Hawaii that you use the journal for. It can be used for anything. So, I'll probably end up having to put a closure once I get home and get it stuffed <laughs> with all my goodies. And it, there'll probably be a lot this time because I think it's our last time uh, for a while. Uh, home renovations, you know, they are expensive. So I think we have to give up our trip next year to continue on with those. Anyway, I, I hope you like this. I, I like this version. Um, yeah, I like the I like the writing paper better in it somehow. I don't know. It's a little different. But let me know what you think. Add a comment, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.